One of the most frustrating things when it comes to power carving is getting your wood carvings clean. And I promise you, you're not doing anything wrong if your carvings are turning out, well, a little less than desirable. In fact, if you have problems like I do, comment below that, hey, I need help. Because <laughs> let me tell you something, I need help myself. So what I want to do is to show you guys what I'm carving today and show you some of my tips and tricks to help clean this up. I am working on this custom lineman hammer right here. I'm putting this Viking design on this. And you can see on the other side, I have already begun carving this. Now, one of the major problems I'm having is getting everything cleaned up and all my corners and lines sharpened. So the first tip that I have for you is to use an, an inverted cone burr on the very tip of the burr. And what I mean by this, when we turn this upside down, we can just go along the edges of our design just like this and clean everything up. Now you have to be disciplined to do this and keep your hand steady, but you'll get a hang of it after a while. This specific burr is from Alaska Burrs. They have three different ones I recommend. I'll link them below. My second tip, you guessed it, is sandpaper. You will hear me preach this all day long. There are a lot of times I will spend more time sanding than I do actually carving. Now what you wanna do is just to take the sandpaper and go along the edge of the design after you have used the inverted cone burr. Now what I'm doing here, I'm just going along the edges, getting up next to the edge of the Viking design and all the knots and just lightly sanding away. You guys don't have to put a lot of pressure on the sandpaper when you do this, just slightly put it across there. And I am going to go through some various grits. Now, before we move on to tip three, I am using clean spore sandpaper and you can get it from woodworkingshop.com. You can get a bargain box of this stuff, but it is worth the money. Tell them Cornelius Creation sent you, uh, but I highly recommend this stuff, guys. You can just use it over and over and it's not, like a Walmart sandpaper, nothing against Walmart. And number three, use wood carving chisels and knives. The brand that I am using here is Power Grip, and I find that these small tools are really good at getting in between the areas that I need to get that burrs can't reach. In a perfect world, my carvings would turn out clean, but when you're not exclusively using sharp knives, chisels, and carving spoons, you're gonna have small nasty debris that gathers up in your carvings because you are using a rotary tool. It's gonna happen. So you are going to have to counter react that sometimes. If this was bigger, I would be able to get away with smoothing this out with sandpaper and other burrs, but I can't, so I have to use these small carving tools. And there is no wrong way to do this. Whatever you guys are working on, Find the best method and go for it. And this is what I'm teaching you guys. I know you're seeing this on a Viking design, but take this information and apply it to your own wood carvings. Now, I will tell you, you guys need to go do two things. Number one, go to howtowoodcarve.com, download your free ebook. I answer a ton of questions in there that I get every day on my YouTube channel and it's answered in this ebook. Download it on your smartphone. And number two, I have the project idea guide. I show you how to come up with all kinds of different ideas and creatively train you in this 50 page ebook and a 45 minute long video course. So if that's for you, you guys go check it out. I will link it below. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Now take these principles and techniques and apply them to your own wood carving. Leave me a comment below and let me know which one you like best. I'll talk to you guys soon.